So now let's see how we can work around with the brush texture mapping option inside of Blender. So in order to work around with that, I'm going to go around into the texture properties while I'm in my sculpting mode and then I'm going to click on new. Once I do that, you can see open is an option. And once I click on open, I can go on to the TutorTube drive. And over here, you can see brush is there, which I'm going to open. So now once I do that, you can see that uh, it actually comes up in a pattern right here. Once I paint out, which is the default option, which is enabled out. Let me just enable Dying Topo and then enable smooth uh, setting and disable Dying Topo right here so that the outlook is smoother. So if I were to go around into the brush settings, I can increase the radius of the brush right here and you got a bigger T as you can see right here. You can also go around and increase the strength right here to increase out the strength of the brush and so forth. So you have many options like you can subtract it out as you can see as well and so forth right here subtract out from the brush instead of addition and so forth. You can go around onto the texture and then here there's different option. So by default, there's the mapping tiled option. If I were to go to view plane, then you can see that it actually works around like a brush right here. If I were to go around over here onto area plane, then you can see that it is more like an area right here as I rotate around. It just projects out the shape onto it. Then you have 3D, which actually allows you to edit out the 3D planes right here and not this plane. So it actually just affects out the 3D planes over here. That is uh, the, um, the areas which are actually pushed in, as you can see right there. Then there's a random right here, which applies the texture in a random pattern. And then if I were to go to stencil, you see the stencil right here. So if I were to uh, bring this in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and hold this, right click and click and hold this so you can move around the stencil. And then if I were to paint on top of it, you can see that there's this stencil. So it's like a mark right here. So I can go around right here. And then if I were to, let's say, for example, keep it around, right click, keep it here, paint it over. And there you go. There's the stencil, which is applied right here. Right click, click over here, click and drag it out. And there you go. That is how everything gets painted. And that is how you can work around with brush mapping option inside of Blender. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.